Hi, welcome to California Streaming. We're sitting here at Joshua Tree KOA. It's our maiden voyage with the Airstream, and so far, so good. I neglected to say that we did get here in the rain last night to hook up, but it didn't take long for it to just slack, and I didn't get wet at all, really. And it rained last night, and as soon as we woke up this morning, everything was dry already. I guess that's desert living. So when I hooked up yesterday, a couple things I bought to ensure, you know, protect our water and our electricity and the Airstream in general, a good power surge protector. So I've got this going into the 30 amp and then it takes 140 seconds for it to boot up. Then once it does, the relay clicks over and electrifies the power cable and then we have power and then the other couple things i bought was i bought this l this is a, a filter i also bought and then of course there's the the water this has a springy attachment so it'll bend nicely coming out but it still puts a lot of pressure on this fitting here so i bought this l instead of letting gravity do the work let this l do some of the work and then it just hangs nicely here of course when i opened that up last night i rinsed it out and a lot of carbon came out before I attached it to the Airstream. So when I bought this dump hose, it said translucent corner so you can see what's going out or know that it's cleared when it's done. It didn't say transparent. I call that a poop trestle. That's where it comes down gradually into here, which I think is really smart. Yeah, but the dump hose said translucent. Even though it was pictured transparent, I figured but it says translucent. So, oh well. Well, I didn't do the awning quite right. And uh, I didn't lock, there's, you gotta lock something in with two beams in before you pull up. And so it's, I forgot to, I, actually I didn't forget to lock them, I just couldn't figure out where to lock them and I didn't lock them and so it, it flew back about a foot, which didn't hurt anything. I remember when we did the, the walkthrough, it was a little hard too on that side. So anyway, we're gonna get some lubricant, but right now it's locked in and serendipitously with this low awning the way it is right now it's shading more of the the airstream than the way i had it previously which was fully extended so this is fully extended but it's more at a i guess you'd say an acute angle uh, in respect of, to the to the airstream so update on the awning i uh it's done it's it's the angle is not bad to keep the sun out, but you can't close the door or the screen door, so we'll have to figure that one out. I figured it out. Good luck, ma'am. I figured out that I did donning wrong, and we put it up, and now it looks beautiful, and luckily I didn't ruin it. I'm glad I didn't ruin it. So there it is, awning out. So me and Shane are walking to the camp store at the KOA in Desert Hot Springs. Here's the pool and three hot tubs and it's really cool and there's a lot of other stuff like billiards and the reading room and, and there's the and cafe. There's a sauna. Oh yeah, there's a sauna too. Very good. Okay, do a radio check. Let's stop right here and see if mom can hear us. Radio check, radio check. Okay. Okay, over now. Over, over, over and out or 10 4. Okay. Good job. Or here's the playground. There's the mini golf, which is free to everyone. So we're at the pool area right now. I'm not going to videotape anybody else, but there's three hot tubs over there. I'll take a picture later. And there's a pool over there, and there's billiards and all kinds of things here at the KOA. It's really cool. We're in one of the three hot tubs at the KOA.
degree pool. And then the 103 or 104 degree pool. And as you can see, it's under a lovely overhang cabana. 104 pool. It's really nice. You can't sit in here too long. It's really nice to sit here. Typically, you're not supposed to have children in this pool for safety reasons. They can get too hot really quick. This is an excellent KOA, and it's an excellent uh, pick your temperature uh, hot screen. We're leaving the pool area. Met some nice people, might see them later. First, we're gonna walk down here, and then we'll, we'll, we'll make some lunch. Well, it has been one heck of a day and we've done a lot we rented some recumbent bikes i don't have any pictures of that uh, but we rented some bikes we rode around this campground it's pretty empty i'm going to take a shower shane's going to the playground with melissa and rosita and then we're going to go into palm springs and check it out i've christened the shower in the new airstream and it was really good i tried to stand most of the time but then after a while when you're exhausted of standing there because you it's a little tight once you sit down and surrender to sitting down on the bench that's actually for sitting down it the shower goes a lot better and uh it's actually enjoyable anyway yeah so that's i feel nice and refreshed so far it's been a really lovely time here at desert hot springs today is mild it's 83 degrees for out here it's pretty mild and uh it's just been beautiful Okay, so that was our first outing in the Airstream. I didn't videotape anything of us packing up because there was a lot of moving parts. We're gonna have to store it for another couple of weeks until we can take it out again. Otherwise, it'd be a quick sweep and clean and on to the next stop. So right now, we're gonna have to park it at a location and then go back to our home and then wait for summertime to continue our journey. But I hope you like what you saw. If you like what you saw, go ahead and push subscribe at the bottom. Thanks for watching.